I'm Liz Gunn from New Zealand Loyal, the party that is loyal to you, the people of New Zealand, and not to the globalists. As part of the rollout of the globalist, greedy gobbling up of the planet, property rights are clearly, to any intelligent person who's done even a modicum of research, property rights are under great threat around the world. So this was sent to me this week and I felt it's important to share what it says. The heading is a secret plan to confiscate all New Zealanders' properties. New Zealand Local Government Funding Agency Guarantee. It goes on to say the Local Government Funding Agency, or the LGFA, was set up under the Local Government Act 2011. No New Zealand local government agency or organisation, city or regional council can borrow unless it borrows funds through this local government funding agency, this LGFA. It's a limited liability company and to borrow, each borrower council must sign an unscrupulous guarantee and indemnity document putting all ratepayers' properties with their rates revenues up for security against the debt. Credible. If any local government debt in the future becomes what's deemed unsustainable, or if a council defaults on its debt, then the overseas bankers can extract what is owed by way of extortionist rates rises from all ratepayers. And if those ratepayers can't pay, the bankers can sell or confiscate the ratepayers' properties, homes, farms, and anything else to recover the debt, which incidentally is growing enormously by the day to the point where it's completely out of control. This right now means all local government and central government elections are a complete and utter farce and we're living under a tyranny already. It means also that all political parties and politicians who do not recognise this are themselves a farce. New Zealand Loyal understands what is going on. All other issues are subordinate to this primary fundamental issue because historically the cornerstone of democracy has always been the right of all citizens to freely own private property. And whenever this has been removed, as it has been in this guarantee, although most people are completely unaware of this, then you are living in a fascist or a communist dictatorship. We at New Zealand Loyal will be deep diving into the property rights and the protection for those that we will be offering in this upcoming election, in future messages to you. So for people who are struggling to understand just what's going on with this legal jargon, here it is simplified. The LGFA's debt obligations are guaranteed, and they're guaranteed by council shareholders, borrower and guarantor councils, without the consent of us, the ratepayers, on behalf of ratepayers. So each borrower council must sign the guarantee all councils in New Zealand that have borrowed from the LGFA have in fact treacherously signed the guarantee. Let's look at Tauranga City Council Mayor Crosby, who was the first. Surely even a first year high school student would never sign such a treacherous document as the one they signed imposing such blatant potential dire consequences on those that they represented. To hide who these criminal banking pirates actually are from the uninformed and simple-minded, the lawyers have created a security trustee which acts on behalf of the beneficiaries, the secret overseas bankers involved. And while the chickens haven't quite come home to roost yet, and the bankers haven't begun confiscating homes or farms as yet, and as they plan, you might like to do yourself a small favour by first reading about the stupendous powers the security trustee has over the borrowers and the ratepayers they represent in the 116-page guarantee and indemnity document. And there you will learn a bit more about the security trust deed and you will view the list of LGFA guarantors as at 31 March 2023 and you will appreciate exactly who all the principal treacherous mayors actually are. Here, just for the record below, 
We will include the latest LGFA Statement of Intent 2023 to 2026 for those who may appreciate what level of debt they are dealing with. You can see that below this statement. This means that the greatest attack against private property rights and freedom in New Zealand may not end up coming from central government after all, and the bankers which in turn control central government. It may very well come from a most unlikely candidate, your friendly local government councillor or mayor, someone you thought was a good guy, someone you voted for and thought was acting in yours and your family's best interests.